Boy, do I have a clip for you today. Now, this one all started because of somebody in the comment section of a recent clip. They said, Stu, can you really help me out here? I'm having a really difficult time distinguishing the Thai sounds ah and air. Eh. And I thought about it and I thought, well, that's really strange because we actually have these two different sounds, ah and air, eh, in English. So why is it that this person can't distinguish the difference? And then it struck me. It's very Courtney wanted it to end the most. And 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 and, and the most. <laughs> At the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. General, chat, 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 general. 20 seasons. 20, 20, 20, 20 seasons. The Kardashians. Working with them, 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 them. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Evolution. Those experiences, 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 experiences. And so that got me thinking, mm, what is it that makes the Kardashians' English annoying AF when I'm listening to it? Now, full disclosure, I am not an American. I'm an Australian, and so that means that I speak English. And so when listening to the Kardashians trying to speak English, and I'm hearing these sounds and I'm thinking, holy crap, what's going on there? I really haven't heard those sort of sounds before. And even the sound of your voice changes. And even the Kardashians themselves have noticed that there's been a change in the way that they speak. I and know, that's the biggest mystery to me and my <laughs> sisters. We are blown away. It's the thing that has us absolutely blown away. We have no idea what happened to our voices. So this is the perfect opportunity to pull out the spectrogram, get some of those Kardashian clips up and find out once and for all, what is it that makes the Kardashians English annoying as shit. There are actually three key points that I'm going to show you scientifically through the spectrogram and through analyzing what's going on there. The way I'm going to do it is I'll play a full clip to you first of the specimen. Then after that, I'm going to show you how I'm hearing this clip. And we're going to look at what's actually going on. But believe it or not, there are actually some scientific things going on there. And what we're hearing in the Kardashians English is actually real time evolution in the English language. Okay, so ready for the first one? See if you can hear what's going on here. Yesterday, Courtney wanted it to end the most. At the end, general 20 seasons. All decided together, invested in that product, see what I'm obsessed with and what's a necessity in my life. Obsessed with and what's a necessity in my life. It, it is what it is, like I need it. I'm never one to shy away from saying things that I wear, you know, under my clothes. Beautiful that we get this time. Okay, so that was the first time through. Could you hear what was going on there? So now I'm going to play you what I hear. Yesterday, Courtney wanted it to end the most. And 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 and, and the most. At the end, yeah, 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 yeah. General, chat, 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 general. Twenty seasons. 20, 20, 20, 20 seasons. All decided together, get, 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 gather, invested in that product, vest, 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 see what I'm obsessed with and what's a necessity in my life. Obsessed, that, 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 with and what's a necessity, that, 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 in my life. It, it is what it is. Like, I need it. I'm never one to shy away from saying things that I wear, you know, under my clothes. I'm never, 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 never one to shy away. Beautiful that we get this time. Get, 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 get this time. Okay, so did you get it? What's happening is this shift. Now, many American English speakers will pronounce the eh, say, in the word let, get, as eh. In Australia, it's further forward, eh. So if you have a look at the mouth here, so eh, 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 and then you have so this a ah is further forward. Ah, eh, ah, eh. So what's happening is that over recent years, there's been this shift. Maybe it's West Coast American English. I don't know. But the Kardashians are saying things like instead of let, they're saying lat. And you can hear invest becomes in vast, in vast. So let's have another listen to some of those invested in that product vest 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 see what i'm in vast obsessed so this is actually the point that that commenter in the thread thank you to all those people who have been commenting too and don't forget to click like and subscribe you're really helping me build this channel up i love doing this stuff so if you like this click like and subscribe but anyway in vast in vast the best this is why they're having trouble differentiating between 
sala a and sala e in Thai, and so they might say the word lao in Thai, which means already, and it comes out as leo, which means bad, and vice versa. So this is one real key point to take away from this Kardashian English. There's this shift from e to a that okay, maybe this is the way English is going. It's not how I grew up. With the English language, and it's not how many Americans grew up, but this is the way it's shifting. I'm going to be curious to see whether, because the Kardashians is such a global success, whether this is going to go into not just West Coast American English, but whether it will go the world over. If you're in a country that speaks English, let me know in the comments below whether you're seeing this shift happen between a e and a. E. The next one, I'll play the clip first, just like last time, and see if you can guess what's going on. Actually, I had really small lips, okay. and I didn't ever think about it until I had one of my first kisses. I don't know. I guess he just sometimes he didn't want to be filmed. I never pressured him to be on the show. I'm not thinking about marriage right now. Okay, so did you get it? That's something that actually happens in a lot of Australian English as well, but especially with the younger generation. I'm going to play it now how I hear it. As we're looking at it, take particular notice of what's going on the spectrogram here in the bottom section. This is the pitch section, so you'll actually be able to see pitch contours of her voice. I actually I had really small lips, small lips, small lips, okay. and I didn't. Ever think about it? Think about it? Think about it? Think about it? Until I had one of my first kisses, first kisses, first kisses, first kisses, and a guy said to me, "Oh my God, you're such a good kisser." I don't know. I guess he just sometimes he didn't want to be filmed, 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 filmed. I never pressured him to be on the show, the show, the show, the show. I'm not thinking about marriage, 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 marriage right now, right now, right now, right now, marriage right now. Okay, so did you get that? This is what we call up talk. Um, in linguistics, when I studied linguistics at university way back then, they used to call this actually the Sydney twang, the Sydney up talk, because we thought it was only people in Sydney that would do it. And I'm going to the shops, and it's like they're asking a question at the end of every sentence, going up. Um, and this is something I don't know if it's happened all along in West Coast English or in American English, but it's definitely something that we can hear. Where even if it's not a question, it goes up at the end. And you can see on the spectrograph here, on even on this one here, this curve, you can see that it's actually going up, up, up. And if you go back and play that again, have a look at the spectrogram because you can see every time she would finish a sentence, it'd go up and talk like this and go ah, uh, uh huh. So. Up talk. So we have two things so far. We have this air to air shift, and we have up talk. What is number three? See if you can catch it. It's really crazy to look back and just to think 20 seasons. So happy we made it to 20 seasons because um, we loved seeing them and working with them. That we weren't going to go forward after season 20. I'm so grateful for also the evolution because I've learned so much. So I'm happy that we were able to be on for so long for people to see that, to get that, and for me to even personally have those experiences. You know, being a mom and trying to rush all of that, and you see that. Proud to see all of that on TV. Okay, so did you get it? I think you could, and even if you look at the spectrograph now. And you're going to get an idea of actually what's going on. In particular, pay attention to the green lines and also what the voice is doing. This is a spectrogram. It's showing what the actual voice box, the vocal cords, are doing, and it's fascinating. So as you listen to how I hear it now, really, really zoom in on those green lines and the orange sections because you're going to be able to see something fascinating going on with the voice. So, wow, did you hear that? This is what we call vocal fry. 
Now, when I was young, I can't remember hearing that much. Maybe in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And they'd go off like this. Whoa, man. But you can see this vocal fry. What happens is the voice crunches down on the vocal cord. So it becomes this. Uh, a bit like Bob Hawk, if you're an Australian. Uh, you're getting the voice coming down to such a point where you can actually hear the beating. The happening and look here on the spectrogram you can see it it's like a brrr beat and you can see in the vocal cords here the patterns that it's making this vocal fry i don't know where it's coming from but you know and i'm just talking and it's just going on like that now i don't know if this is just an american thing is it happening in australian english i haven't been in australia for a long time maybe it's going on but it's really weird and honestly when I hear the Kardashians speak English, at first I wasn't sure what it was, especially looking now, looking in the spectrogram too, you can see it. This is actually grating on the ears. It's like uh, being asked to listen to a lawnmower while they're speaking. This is annoying as fuck. It's scientifically, we can see that it's beating and beating and beating. And just all of these things that's happening with the English language, and we can see from the comment in my comment section when the guy said now he can't even distinguish between a ah and a eh. yeah, 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 yeah. general chat 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 general 20 seasons 20 20 20 20 in other foreign languages so it's making me think are the kardashians actually setting people up to fail in other languages with the way that they're shifting the english language with the influence they have I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I think it's actually really fascinating, not just doing other language analyses, but we do it on English and seeing what's happening in our popular language that we're using now. We can see an evolutionary shift happening in language right now, right before our eyes or our ears. Whether it's good, it's bad. We might think it's bad now in the future. This might be the norm, God help us, but it might be. So anyway, if you like that, click like, subscribe, don't forget to scan the QR code because we have an amazing Discord group of over 500 people now. People who love language, love learning. We have every language you can imagine. So join the Discord group, join Minecraft. If you're learning Thai, get cracking Thai fundamentals. Go to the shop, shop.jacademy.com and you can get some really cool merch that has all of this language stuff in it. So you're going to love that as well. And I'll see you on the other side.